You may think this is a cat deterrent, but in reality, this is a cleverly designed vacuum made to suck money right out of your wallet. Hi, I'm Zach, and I want to show you how to turn off that suck. This little item right here is called the SCAT, and it's absolutely brilliant for a couple of different reasons. Let me tell you why. One, because it works. It really, really works. Two, because it doesn't matter whether you love cats or you hate cats, everybody has a reason to deter cats, and this little guy does exactly that. It scares cats off of where they're not supposed to be. The third reason is because it works so well that you want to keep using it, even when the can of air runs out. So what do you do? It's easy. All you do, pull this little collar and take it off. And then you throw it away. And you go to PetSmart and buy another one. A can of air. Look how big this can of air is. For $12. $12 for this stupid little can of air. There may be some of you out there who don't blink about spending $12 on a can of air. I'm not one of those people. I blink a lot about spending $12 on a can of air. Let me show you how to recharge these so you don't have to spend $12 on that can of air anymore. Go down to your local auto parts store where you can find a matching set of two rubber valve stems. One for now, one for later, or one for you and one for a friend. $3.39 they cost me after tax. Once you've taken the cap off, now go ahead and attach it to your tire pump. Now push the opening over the top of that raised silver part on the can. Now hold all that together with one hand and pump with the other. About 80 PSI is all you're going to be able to hold in there for pressure. That's kind of the built-in safety that keeps you from blowing up the can. Now just put it back in the scat as though you had paid 12 bucks for it, only with a bigger smile because you didn't. Now go hide this thing somewhere where your unsuspecting cat will be scared out of his skin. Small disclaimer, you're not going to get quite as many discharges out of the recharged can as you would from this can that you buy for $12 from the store. But who cares, because you can refill this one infinitely. I really hope this little tutorial helps you. If it does, please let me know that by giving it a thumbs up. Click the thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions or any problems with the procedure, please ask those in the comments. I do my absolute best to answer any and all comments so I can help you out if need be. And uh, please share this with somebody else that you might know that, uh, that could use it. And subscribe to the channel if you like stuff like this. And I will look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you for your time.